tough being patient now that Julio's here and you know you're you're busy recovering obviously and how much are you looking forward to that time when you both get on the field and 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 can start working together um I'm definitely I'm definitely uh not getting impatient but uh excited excited to get back on the field and get back out to my teammates you know um just just to be out there again you know what I'm saying so uh, I've been rehabbing I've just been taking it slow and um I'll be back out there soon. Buck. What's up, AJ? A, a lot of new faces in the in the wide receiver room this year. What what kind of stands out about obviously, you know, Julio is is Julio Jones, but what kind of stands out about uh Josh Reynolds and, and Des Fitzpatrick? I know you've only seen probably a little bit of them this, at this point. Um I I like how Josh Reynolds carries himself. Um uh, like I'm not I don't like I don't see firsthand what they're doing um, on the field because I'm not I'm not out there. You know, I haven't really just worked with them. Um, but I like how they carry themselves, well, both of them, uh, off the field, in the locker room, in the meeting room. Um, they're learning. They're trying to they get a, get adjusted to everything. And they're just being a pro, so which is good. But I can't really speak on the first part because I'm really not out there with them. Like, I see a little film here and there, but that's all I see. Well, if I can get a quick follow then, uh, hey, t- uh, Tannehill, when when you're working with him, when the transition was made from from Marcus to to Ryan, what what kind of what kind of stands out about him as somebody who's trying to acclimate himself to new receivers, and and how did that process look for you from from your perspective? Um, for him, it's gonna come down to making plays. You know, um, you build that trust, making plays against defenders each and every each and every day, building that trust. And when he's in trouble, he and it starts off just him just giving you a chance, giving you an opportunity. You make the play for him, and he'll come back to you. So him building that relationship, you can run a million routes all day long, all day long, and until he can trust, he, until he trusts you, and he can throw you the ball in the situation, then he'll keep coming back to you. That's how that's how I feel like he built a trust. That's how he built a trust with me. So, thanks, Jim Wyatt. And AJ, what's your focus been this off season? You, you, I know you hadn't been been out there like you'd like, but does that mean you watch more film? Have you done some other things to kind of make up for being out there? And how's that going? Yeah, it's been a real slow grind for me. Uh, been doing a lot of uh, different ways, cardio, uh, film, just watching, just just trying to learn as much as possible. You know, uh, not kill time, but um, but make the make the most of it. To be honest, so. Um, like I've been studying, watching old games, um, trying to just find new ways just to put it in my game, you know, just visualizing it. So, so. Teron. Hey, Jay, what's up, man? Uh, Coach Downing, he, he had mentioned some of the things he wants to do with you as far as expand your route tree, get you, uh, you know, familiar with recognizing coverages, et cetera. Is that something that you embrace, and and how did that come about? Like, is that something that that you went to him to 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 do, or did he come to you? How did that evolve? Um, he came to me. He came to me this off season when he got the job, and he was just kind of kind of gave me like a little heads up about it, you know. Uh, and as we as far as we went along, we got a little into depth about it. Um, of course, I'm gonna embrace any any new opportunity. Uh, so. Uh, they're, they're, they're kind of asking to put a little more on me this year, which is fine. Um, they can't put more on my – they can't put more on me than I can put on myself, that I put on myself already. So, like, it's all it's all good, you know, so I'm, I'll, I'll be ready. John Glennon. Hey, AJ, I was going to ask you about your um, your campaign of sorts to, uh, to help bring Julio here. Um, what, uh, you know, kind of prompted you to, uh, to start that? Um, knowing that he was not not a free agent even, and um, you know how much did you go, did you talk with Julio during that, and and you end up feeling like maybe you uh, maybe you made any kind of uh, uh yeah yeah it was going in and out but I think I I can <laughs> I think I could uh, use my contact tools but uh um. Uh, yes, I was talking to him during the, during the process. Uh, was having was was on the phone talking or whatever. And uh, to be honest, it came about uh, me just being bored, just having so much time on my hand. You know, I was working out as much as I can, but uh, just me being bored, you know, me being at home bored <laughs> by myself. So, uh, and and just 
just wanted to do something by by time. That, that that's how it went about. So. Yeah, and, and again, I know he was not a free agent, um, but you know, do you uh, uh, did you ever hear any feedback? I guess from the from the Titans coaches or GM, and and do you feel like you you maybe help make a difference at all in in, in bringing him here? Um, I don't know. I, I, for me, like it was all funny games. I mean, if it helped, it helped. But I I I think I put it in the air for them to 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 show that uh, like I'm not afraid of uh, of competition or anyone, you know, uh, you know. Uh, or bringing in another superstar like that. So, you know, uh, if it helped, it helped. But uh, for, for me, it was just all fun and game. So. It's a couple more for AJ, and then we have uh, Coach Downing. Kayla? Hey, AJ, um, following up with, with some Julio stuff here, mm -hmm. how, how much has your relationship grown with him just for the short time that you've been here? And how fun do you think it's going to be with two kind of dominant, you know, personalities and dominant guys out on the field um, to just build that kind of together too? Um, it's going to be real fun. We talk about it all the time. Um, <laughs> we talk about it all the time. Who, who are they going to try to take away, you know? Um, but like I said, we, we got to put the work in, you know, we got to go to work and like, I'm excited to get back out there and get back on the field and, and, and do my diligence. Paul? Is that me? That's you. Hey, Jay, uh, how do you think coverage changes now, given that you've got, uh, you know, an all-time great on the other side? Um, I think, I think it starts, I think it starts in the backfield. Um, the guy we got in the backfield demands, demands all the attention first. You know, uh, but I think I think you just got to play as honest. You got to play everybody honest. You know, not just me and Julio, got Ferster, Josh Reynolds, or all the other guys too. So, you know, a lot of names that that kind of sneak up on you. So, um, we'll see. We'll see how whatever coach they throw out there, we'll be ready. Last question, quick, David Beauclair. AJ, speaking of social media. Do you remember recording the post-surgery video and, and when you watched it with a clear head later, did you think it was funny, embarrassing? What was what was your reaction? Um, I definitely thought it was embarrassing uh, because I'm not I'm not that player and I don't want attention. Um, you know, I don't I'm not I'm not in it for the accolades. Uh like for me, I just want to be the best. So um a lot of guys will give me a hard time about it. You know, so they know I, they know that's not me, but they were just making fun of me. But it was embarrassing, you know. So 